Hey everyone, it's Average Gatsby, and welcome to another issue of Engineering the Asylum. Um, I'm going to be doing the uh, final parts of the collector ship mission live, so let's check out my build again. Uh, Demolisher, Attack Drone, Incineration Blast. Uh, as for the order to level these up, if you're not level 20, uh, your passive first, then your drone, then incineration, and then any points left over in cryo. Uh, for this, I recommend a respec before to get rid of any overload points you have. You need those first two uh, to get the incinerate, but other than that, um, you really shouldn't have any points uh, in overload because you're never going to use it. Grunt's got squad incendiary ammo, Krogan pure blood, and fortification. I'll be dumping the rest of my points into fortification when I get them. And then Thane has uh, level 3 warp and drill marksman for damage. Alright, let's, uh, let's get a move on. Uh, this area is incredibly tough for the engineer. I mean, this is... I don't think any class has a more difficult time through this section than the engineer does because we have such terrible survivability. We only have one move that really does any damage and only one move that we're really going to want to use, and that's incinerate. Um, you will be using the drone, but the problem is, is that Harbinger kills your drone so quickly unless you just want to drone spam. Uh, you're better off just using incinerate most of the time. And, uh, you know, this is... So we, we just don't have the uh, the crowd control that the other classes, uh, you know, really have, unfortunately. Um, as you can see, I'm kind of sitting in the back here, and I want my allies to move up, so I'm going to put them ahead of me. You always want your allies to be in front of you, and, you know, look at that. It just so happens that uh, Harbinger turns into the one guy that was almost dead, which is horrible. But, uh... You know, sometimes stuff like that happens. Um, so right here, I'm just sort of checking out the battlefield. Uh, you know, I don't know what Thane is doing back there, but he shouldn't be back there. But I, I really want to hit these drones. Um, I'm going to be moving back to this position, though. I want to stay as far away from Harbinger as possible. And, uh, you know, basically just use my sniper rifle to finish these guys off. And, uh, you know, Thane goes down, but I'm not even going to revive him. Uh, no need. And then, you know, I'll... At this range, I can kind of go for the headshots and let uh, let Grunt take uh, most of the damage. There we go. You know, uh, that's one thing you're going to consistently see as far as me surviving throughout this section is I'm going to be putting my my squad mates in the line of fire. Um, I want them to be shot at. I want them to get shot instead of me. Um, that's what I need to stay alive. So here's this section. This is, I think, the hardest part of the level. I think this is harder than the platforms. Um, I'm going to throw out drone right away, and then I'm going to go to this spot, and I'm going to stay here almost the entire time. Um, I just don't have the uh, the strength to, you know, move forward and even try to pick up a better position. And look at that. Harbinger picks, once again, probably the most inconvenient uh drone to turn into that I could. Uh, you know, Grunt is in a really good position right now for me. And uh, let me finish off this drone. With uh, I'll use I'll use my own uh, combat drone to finish him off. As you can see, you know, I'm kind of having health issues right now. But, uh, you know, I'll just wait. I'm bursting my, my Tempest Fire right there and then firing out the Incinerate. Uh, I'm kind of ignoring Harbinger. I, I don't really want... Uh, any attention on me from him. I want to kill these uh, collector drones as soon as I can. Um, right here, you know, I, I really want to move forward, but it's just not safe uh, for me to take on Harbinger. I'll switch to my uh, sniper rifle here, and if I can, I'm going to try to get uh, Thane's warp on that unit up top. I get it, and then uh, fire my incinerate. Not even necessary, though. And then we'll just finish off uh, Harbinger real quick here. Alright, so I know that they're going to be coming around this upper section. I'm going to push, you know, it's risky to push up here, but I'm going to send drone out ahead of me and, you know, try to make sure I don't get flanked. And then uh, take out this unit right here as quickly as I can. And as you can see, I'm using a combination of my sniper fire and uh, my incinerates. Um, this is a really good position to take as, uh, you know, it forces the collectors to take the the low road and uh, you know gives me more time not only to deal with uh, with the drone collector drones but also with the abominations that are going to be coming up you know 
as you can see, you know, using my drone as I always have. Uh, you'll see me using concussive shot against uh, these enemies really often. <laughs> that is just horrible. I can't believe that happened. Um, that's incredibly frustrating. I'm gonna retreat. Make sure I stay alive. So I'm gonna be using the uh, meta gel right there, and I'm gonna fall back. You know, there's no reason to just try to beast in this section and try to be, you know, basically, uh, you know, be aggressive when uh, when you know that there's a really good chance that Harbinger is gonna push forward and you're gonna get flanked. Um, that is the last thing you want is to uh, is to get flanked. You know, fortunately, as you can see, you know, I, I bought myself time by coming down to this position uh, to to take out these guys, just use it, letting my uh, attack drone lead the way. See, I'll take out this guy right here when he pops up again. He's my incinerate. I think I got him. And then I'll just have my uh, there we go. One more incinerate should do the do the trick. I need the sniper shot anyway, but we'll just have my squad mates attack Harbinger. And, uh, you know, I, the last thing I want to do is get close to him, so I'm going to just stand back here and uh, take pot shots at him. If he decides to be dumb and not uh, not fire any shots at me, then, you know, his loss, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna go out of my way to, to be aggressive when I know, you know I can keep him back here and uh, take minimal damage for myself. For some reason, my squad mates aren't really going around, but look at that headshot damage. I've got uh, almost max pistol upgrades at this point. Uh, and I can just say that that is extremely valuable. All right, um, I'm gonna end the video right here. I uh, I want to push ahead and get uh, the Praetorian fight in, but I've only got about three minutes left of YouTube time, and it's just not a good idea for me to try to rush this next fight. Uh, I might get myself in trouble. So anyway, I'm Average Gatsby. Hope you guys learned something from this video. Please uh, rate, comment, subscribe. Give me any feedback you like, and have a good day.